I'm a pretty jaded political observer in the 2024 season, but I had a profound emotional reaction to seeing this story from the New York Post. Massed anti-Israel protesters take over New York City subway car. Let's listen in. I am not a Jew, but if I were on this New York City subway car, I would stand up and I would say, I am a Jew. Do to me what you would do to them. To be ruled. In the end, you will always kneel. Not to men like you. There are no men like me. There are always men like you. Where did this hate come from? How did this hate arrive in the United States of America? It's not from the conservatives or libertarians or MAGA Trump supporters. In fact, we see daily, almost weekly speeches by... President Joe Biden on how Donald Trump supporters are violent extremists, and yet you would never see people in MAGA hats storming a subway car and demanding that Democrats stand up so they can be beaten or killed. So what is Joe Biden talking about? It is, in fact, Joe Biden who has brought this hatred, this division, to America, and it's artificial. I see several people in this image that look like they should never have been permitted to enter this country, or their parents had, should never have been permitted to immigrate to America because they brought their hatred uh, from other countries into our country. And here they're demanding the right to beat or murder Jews on America's subway cars in New York City. This artificial hatred was created was paid for and encouraged by Joe Biden. Joe Biden and his political allies paid for this political movement to come into our country and spread violence and hate. And Joe Biden's going to lecture us that his political opponent spreads hate and violence? Where's the evidence? This is all coming from Joe Biden's side of the American political spectrum. And I had a profound reaction to this because the people that choose to remain silent in this subway car. The folks, this is not an American issue. I would say this is a global civilization issue. If people do not stand up and say, I am Jewish, perform your violence on me. I don't think we have a civilization globally that should be defended. Civilization itself should fall if people do not stand up to this sort of hatred. And I will believe that to my dying day. If you do not like this sort of hatred being pushed in America, vote for Donald Trump. Thank you.